Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be playing another crazy deck inside of Clash Royale, and honestly, one of my favorite types of decks, which is the Lava Hound Battle Ram combo. You guys might remember a couple of months ago, I was playing the Lava Hound Battle Ram combo, and apparently it's gotten even stronger with the Night Witch thrown into the deck, so I wanted to try it out today to see if we can make this deck work, and honestly, I think it should be a ton of fun. This deck looks pretty good. Obviously, the one counter is going to be Executioner Tornado, which honestly counters everything, so there's nothing we can really do about it, but basically what we want to do with this deck is play our Lava Hound in the very back, let the Lava Hound float, float, float to the bridge, and as soon as at the, it's at the bridge, we start our engines with the Battle Ram, and then it just goes crazy, 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 and it hopefully ends up doing work. Now, I'm going to play an aggressive Battle Ram to start. I'm just going to go ahead and let those go down the lane. Not going to be able to do too much with that Night Witch, uh, so it's going to go ahead and swing at that Night Witch. Looks like we'll get a couple of Barbarian hits. Night Witch will pop, actually, so not the worst trade in the world. And getting ready with our Tombstone, that's going to be what we have to deal with right now. So here goes the Minions. Bandit's going to lock on. Bat's going to do its thing. In the end, the Bandit's going to get one hit right there, but since he invested so much, let's go crazy with our Lava Hound right now and check out this push. Lava Hound's going to get shoved forward. Minions are doing work. Dark Goblin's going to go in, though, and in the end... I think that's sort of going to be the end of any sort of play we can make. Actually, I'm going to play a Fireball right now. This is going to give my Lava Hound a little bit of time to do its thing. Let's just let that Lava Hound do work right now. Uh, Night Witch is a nice counter to the Hound, though. Those bats are going to do work against my uh, pups. But still, everything is going to be fine. Mega Minion's going to go down here. That's going to clean up. And overall, we've taken 100 HP lead, guys. Hands in the air for 100 HP lead. Now, we haven't gotten to our combo yet. Our combo, like I told you guys, is the Lava Hound and then the Battle Ram. Once we get those together, I really feel like there's going to be no way for him to stop our push. Let's get ready with our Tombstone right now. I've got some minions, too. This Battle Ram's going to run into that right there. Barbarians aren't going to be strong enough right here. And instead of playing my Battle Ram, let's just hang out with my minions, let those go across the bridge, get our Lava Hound ready, and really start to jumpstart our push. So minions are going to all die. Unfortunately, that's just how it goes right there. This, I'm going to let this, uh, this little Dark Goblin do work, too. You know what, Dark Goblin? Take 400 HP from my tower. I understand that's your job. That's what you're going to do. I don't judge you for that, Dark Goblin. But now I've got my push. I've got the Elixir lead. And this is where I'm going to make him pay for a, being a pain earlier. So here we go. Battle Ram's going to get ready in a moment. Here goes the Battle Ram. I've got the Fireball ready, too. I also have the Zap. Instead, I'm going to go for this right here. Battle Ram's actually going to run all the way into the tower right there. Zap's going to help out right here. Very nicely done. Minions need to help out here, and this is where we start to make some move. Poison Spell is going to go down against our Lava Hound. Okay, that's fair. Poison Spell is going to go down. Lava Hound will get a couple of hits before everything goes down right there. And getting ready in a moment. Uh oh, this is a little bit tough. We have to defend against this push somehow. So this Dark Goblin actually did work against us. Mega Minion is going to help out right now. We still are holding on pretty decently as we get ready. But this Inferno Tower is proving to be a pretty big pain right now. And let's get our Zap down. Just give ourselves a little bit more time to hang out and have a good time together. Fireball is going to go down too against this this uh, Night Witch. Everything else is going down. We're actually getting some good progress down right here. Bats are going to come out. Mega Minion still at full HP. Look at the Mega Minion right now. Getting the tower down so dang low. It's only a lightning spell away from victory. Or Fireball, sorry. And as this all goes, we just need to hold on. Please, please cycle to this Fireball. Please don't let these Dark Goblins kill me. 144 HP. GG. Well played. Woo. That was, that was a close battle, guys. That was a close battle. We got to our combo of Lava Hound Battle Ram, but we never actually were, were able to stop that Inferno Tower before it did too much work against us. And the Dark Goblin actually did a great job. The Dark Goblin only being able to be taken out by my Fireball made it really difficult to get to it. But in the end, we ended up picking up that victory with the Mega Minion chipping in. And let's go ahead and get into battle number two and see if we can keep it going. Now, this starting hand is pretty okay. I can play the Lava Hound first, and then I have the Mega Minion or the Tombstone on defense. So let's go ahead and play the Lava Hound first right now. And seeing what he's going to play, I've got the Tombstone in my hands. I'm actually going to not play anything. I'm going to let these goblins do work. Let's see how much damage a dark or a, a goblin gang does by itself. It does 800-something damage. Okay, good to know, guys. Good to know. Let's get our Mega Minion ready right now. I'm going to get everything ready over here. I've got the Zap Spell ready in a moment. Zap's going to take out that Inferno from just roasting us. Uh, Mega Minion's going to go down. Night Witch is going down too. That's going to kill that before he can actually get what he wants out of it. Night Witch is going to help kill this Electro Wizard. And then we get very minor damage on the side right there. Okay, well, not the best play in the world, but now we can get our Battle Ram going. Let's go ahead and start our engines right now with that Battle Ram minion combo. Maybe he has something that's not going to be able to work right here. Valkyrie's actually going to be able to chip those Barbarians down. In the end, we spent 7 Elixir. He spent 7 Elixir. And uh, he's going to get a little bit of Spear Goblin chip damage for his troubles. I guess I have to play my Mega Minion right here, too. 
or else those spear goblins are gonna destroy us. All right, well, Mega Minion went down. That's just fine. I'm guessing in double elixir is really when our deck is gonna shine against his deck. We need to be able to cycle quickly enough to kill that Inferno Tower uh, and everything around it. Looks like right now he's just gonna be chilling out. I'm gonna play a tombstone. I hate playing a defensive tombstone before he plays anything. That's like one of my least favorite things in the world. But as it drops right there, I'll get my Lava Hound ready. And maybe now, maybe now we can get a good push going against this Electro Wizard, but we'll have to see how this works out. Electro Wizard's gonna make its way over. His Battle Ram's gonna make its way over too. As the Electro Wizard goes in, we can play our Night Witch. This is actually really good for us right now. This Battle Ram's gonna die in a moment. Um, I've got my Battle Ram to go in right now. Battle Ram's gonna go in, Zap's gonna go down too. Zap's gonna stop it and check out this gigantic push we have going. Barbarians, Night Witch, Lava Hound, everything's going in. Minions better not die in that poison. I'm hoping the poison stops. Okay, two minions are gonna be alive. That's basically it. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is okay right now. I guess I have to do something. Maybe? No, I don't even have to do anything. Let's just play another Lava Hound right now and see if we can keep our push alive. Okay, he's gonna play another Electro Wizard. That's gonna be annoying to deal with. Miner's gonna go in too. We need to try to keep this Electro Wizard from doing too much damage to us. That's actually gonna work out perfectly. Lava Hound's gonna do its thing. Start your engines with the Battle Ram going in right now. We've got the Night Witch. We've got the Mega Minion Lava Hound. We need to do something. Mega Minion's gonna get locked onto. Okay, there it goes. Poison Spell's gonna go in. Battle Ram's gonna slam into that though. We've got a little bit of HP left. Barbarians, Fireball's gonna predict the Goblin Gang. Oh, we just have this Battle Ram, or this, uh, this Lava Hound left, and it's not gonna be enough to get it for us. Once again, we're holding on at this last second. Trying to pick up this victory. Let's go ahead and get it. All right, I'm gonna do this. Let's just switch things up right now. Let's play the Night Witch first, then everything. Is he gonna poison us? What is he gonna do? Battle Ram's gonna run in. Zap's gonna go down right now. I've got a Fireball for this Goblin Gang. Trying to cycle somehow, some way. Barbarian's actually gonna get caught up by these Goblins. Guys, what are we doing? Both of these battles have been so intensely close. Let's get the minions, let's get everything. He's gonna log, the log's gonna miss our skeletons though, which is so crucial. He does have poison spell, but is it gonna be enough? There goes our battle ram. What is this gonna do? Does he have Inferno Tower in time? Please battle ram, please! Zap! Oh! G, G. These games have been crazy. So crazy we're gonna pick up the win right there. These have not been easy by any means whatsoever. Sometimes you gotta work for these challenge wins, and we worked for that one. The Electro Wizard Inferno Tower combination. Again, the Inferno just being such a pain to deal with in both of these battles. We're gonna be able to stomach our way through it though. Let's go ahead and get into battle number three right now. These battles have been wild. They have been wild, wild, wild. Let's start with our Night Witch. Don't really have anything else to play. Uh, he is gonna do nothing. So we're just currently gaining Elixir as the Night Witch runs in. I'm actually going to go ahead and do a Battle Ram minion combo over here, just to see how he wants to deal with this. Battle Ram minions are actually going to get pretty close to the tower. Battle Ram's going to keep running. Oh, he played Lightning Spell. That is an expensive play right there. Let's play our Mega Minion against this Baby Dragon, just so we don't lose any tower HP over there. But overall, I think we're looking okay right now. And uh, yeah, he spent more Elixir to defend on that side. I'm trying to do the math in my head. I think we're just sitting pretty right now. Let's play our Lava Hound in a moment and to see what he is gonna do offensively. Now, does he have an offensive option? Does he have a tank? Does he have a battle ram? Like so, let's play our tombstone to stop that battle ram. Very nice, done right there. Battle ram's gonna go ahead and die. Um, probably gonna need to zap all of this. Goblins are still gonna get a little more damage than I would have wanted, but that's gonna be okay. We'll sacrifice, eight, sacrifice 800 HP to get our push going. Night Witch is down, Lava Hound is at like full HP, guys. If he doesn't have a counter to this, he is gonna be in so much trouble. Now, he might have his Tornado locked up. Tornado's gonna be pretty good, actually, against this. By the time I play this Battle Ram, everything's charging down the lane. He is trying to hold on. The Battle Ram still has enough HP, though, to reach the tower, and the Barbarians, plus these little pups, are doing work right now. And if he plays his Battle Ram, we can play our Tombstone right here. Let's stop that. He'll probably play his log again. Let's we'll see what he does. He's gonna play a zap instead. Baby Dragon won't kill our Mega Minion. Perfect play right there is gonna save me my zap spell. And with 551 HP left, this game is in the palm of our hands. Much smoother game than the first couple because we don't have that Inferno Tower to deal with. And let's go ahead and get all aboard the train again and see if we can break out this Lava Hound Battle Ram combo. Lava Hound's down. What is he gonna do? What is he gonna do? Uh, what? Uh-oh. Hello? Okay, guys, I did not expect this. This is not what I expected when I signed up for this game. Um, 
Okay, well, he's gonna just use a P.E.K.K.A. and take our tower. Okay. That's, uh, Clash Royale, guys. Well, we'll use our Zap right here. We'll get our minions ready right here. He's gonna play his Battle Ram. I'll let that Battle Ram do a little bit of damage. I'm not gonna let it ruin my day or anything as my Night Witch goes down. And uh, as the Night Witch goes, we need our minions. Our minions are so dumb. They're gonna sort of mess us up right there. I'm gonna play the Lava Hound right now. Let's just go. Let's just go for it. Lava Hound's down. He's gonna play his P.E.K.K.A. This is gonna be going for it right now. Who is gonna be the one to blink first? My P.E.K.K.A. is gonna, or my defense is gonna work pretty decently right here. We need our Zap. We need a Zap right now. We need a Zap. Zap this P.E.K.K.A. We've got Battle Ram. We've got everything going in. Look at the Barbarians plus the Lava Hound. That is going to be the end of the game, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Wait. Is it? No. No. Uh, tombstone. Something. Anything. Uh. Ah. Oh. GG. Well played, guys. I need to take a break from this deck or I'm going to lose all my hair. My hairline is bad enough as it is. I'm going to lose all of it if I keep playing this deck. Check it out if you guys want to. 3-0 and zero today. Three of the closest battles you'll see. Lava Hound, Battle Ram, Night Witch, Fireball, Minions, Mega Minion, Zap, and Tombstone. Crazy, crazy deck. If you want sweaty armpits, this is the deck to play. And that is going to wrap it up for this episode. I'm going to go take a seat over there. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.